you know, there's something magical about making a photo out of, out of what's purely in that moment. My name is Isaac Wasserman. Uh, I'm a junior here at University of Oregon. Um, journalism major, environmental studies minor. Cool. And uh, yeah, I love to take photos. So I kind of chose this photo because it's kind of a work in progress for me actually. There's this thing about basketball where you don't have a lot of creative flexibility. You're assigned to a, a, a little seat and you're like tucked in with all the other photographers and that's the one spot you are for the whole game. And so a lot of times uh, the referee is right in front of you and it, and it absolutely sucks. And that's what you see on the sides, those, that black is the referee's legs. And so it was a lot of like, okay, well, how can I work, how can I work with this? Um, and you know, the idea was I'm just gonna frame the action in the referee's legs. Uh, and you know, so I'm kind of shooting this one, my, the screen of my camera like doesn't flip out. So I'm just shooting it pretty blind. I just like have it out there. And, um, and I really love how it's framed in multiple people's legs and he's looking right at you. And the reason I say it's a work in progress is because every single time I try this photo, or like every single time I shoot a game, I try this photo. Um, and I'm waiting to get, I think the composition is great. I want it to be like peak action in there. You know, I want it to be something like seriously insane happening. Um, and so, you know, I just want to talk about a little bit, like I sort of get these ideas and I mean, this is totally not my original idea like this. I've seen other photos like this. It's inspired by people that I look up to, but it's a work in progress. Like I go every single time to these games and part of the assignment is to get your standard photos. And part of the assignment is to, part of my own assignment that I make for myself is to try things and keep trying things. I split a lot of what I do between uh, sports and sort of editorial uh, journalism. And so a lot of the photos that I'm going to show you are sports, but this one is one I'm really proud of that's more editorial and uh, it was actually for my photo one class. This photo is um, on Skinner's Butte, which if folks don't know, it's a popular spot for people to go and uh, I would say like 90% of folks are up there smoking, um, but it's just like a fun spot to be it overlooks the city of Eugene and everything. And so going about that, I was kind of like, you know, what is the essence of this place kind of like, what does it uh, mean? What is it all about? And so I was sort of walking around, talking to people, taking some photos, and then I saw these girls, uh, one was sitting backwards in the passenger seat, and I was like, oh, there's definitely something to work with here. And so I started talking to them, um, and they were like, this is, our, this is our happy place. Like, this is the happiest place that we ever are. We come up here like every day, we meet new people, all of this stuff. Um, but then there was also, it was a gross day, and there was this real sense of, I guess, like sadness about the situation even though they were like this is the happiest place ever and so I think in that sort of put everything together for me a little bit in terms of what that place was you know it's like a a place for people to go and like blow up steam but it was kind of depressing at the same time mm -hmm. you know like I was able to frame it up in an interesting way and I think this speaks to sort of part of what I like to do as a photographer is I like to go about things in a really mindful really intentional way and so um, you know, seeing the person in the driver's seat in the, in the mirror and then the other girl in the passenger seat and just sort of, there's a lot of it, there was just a lot of in, intentionality in it um, and how I composed it and it all came together really nicely. There's the big jube photo and then there's the other stuff. Well, this is the big jube photo. Uh, this is at NCAA uh, Track and Field Outdoor Championships here in Eugene. Um, and you know, this is the kind of photo where it all works well. There's composition, there's, you know, all the technical stuff is there. It's not, you know, it's a comfortable photo, but then there's this huge moment. Um, Kai Robinson of Stanford is winning his race uh, after coming back from a pretty big injury in, the, in just a few weeks prior, he was uh, qualifying for this race and he got tripped. I think it was a steeplechase if I remember correctly. Yeah. Uh, and someone spiked him in the face and so, uh, he has like this huge gash on his cheek and you can kind of see it in this photo a little bit but um, he didn't necessarily think he was gonna be able to compete here and uh, here he is winning it there's it's kind of raining out classic Eugene um, he just has this like massive you know his hair is flying he's just like celebrating like crazy and so this is the you know this is the kind of photo where it's like you got to get that photo and this is a pretty uh, special moment you know um, and everything really just comes together 
it's hard to say. It's really hard to make it as a photojournalist. It's really hard to make it as a sports photographer. Uh, it can be done, like obviously, regardless. Uh, I think, you know, I applied to a few internships for this summer that I'm definitely going to pursue. I'm looking into working um, like track and field worlds this summer for likely for some random country that comes and needs a photographer. And so, you know, I think that's an option is like freelance sports photography or freelance photojournalism. That's really exciting to me. But then there's also like newspaper uh, photography and um, photojournalist. And so that's another option as well.